Hail everyone and welcome to Arch City Comics. I'm Adam Mayup. If you're not already subscribed, please do so and ring that bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on all things Arch City Comics and share this out to all your friends to see. This is lettering, time lapse lettering of The Gods Fear Me, page four. Now, the last page I did was for More Lethal. It was pretty simple, black and white, just normal text boxes. Uh, this one's a bit more complicated. But it took me a bit longer, so I had to up the speed so this wasn't a half-hour video. Um, but a little bit into the process here. I noticed that, I guess in doing the just the screen share on this, that it doesn't pick up all of the toolboxes that pop up when uh, when I'm actually doing the lettering, like the, the lettering itself and the insert of the boxes, which I guess is fine. You can actually see them. As I place them on the screen, you just can't see the the menus as they pop up. Um, this one's just a little bit more complicated. As I said, uh, you got some different fonts to use uh, for Kedzie here and the Puppet King. Uh, we got different dialog boxes that are being used. Kedzie's got the black, the white text on uh, on black, and the Puppet King also has he's got white on black as well with a red outline around it. And both of those are custom made and I did uh, we've got a custom caption box uh, that's in the orange as well and messing around with this uh, I tried a couple different things and this video actually doesn't show the the actual the final of course because I went back and I tweaked some things here and there but uh, we'll show you the the finished project uh, when this time-lapse video ends so you can still get the gist going through and actually placing the letters uh, flip back and forth to make sure all the the sizes are still correct When you get this many panels on page, it becomes a bit more tedious actually uh, getting everything to fit properly. And these blue boxes that I used, uh, I'll actually, I'll go back and I'll show you. Um, after talking with Mike Murphy, we decided to nix that. Uh, we tweaked it a bit and I think what, what came out was much, much better. We did a custom box that has like a, like a matrixy kind of feel to it with uh, like a, binary text in the background zeros and ones um, which works so much better uh, with the with the story here because she's she's starting to go down so she's kind of glitching out um, you know as you can see in that panel she's actually speaking in binary language
So once all the dialogue and captions are, well, how I feel are uh, in the proper place, then I'll go through, and that's when I add in all the tails, make sure that they're pointing in the right direction, draw them in, just with a quick stencil, just kind of move it around, draw the lines in quick, and then take the layer away, take the bottom layer away, and then f fill it in. I've noticed that if you don't take the bottom away, it doesn't like to fill uh, on this program anyway. It could be different. I know this is many bag paint. I know a lot of people use, uh, uh, they use, I mean, there's a bunch of different programs out there for lettering. You can use uh, Photoshop, uh, which is one that a lot of people use. Um, I can't think of the uh, the other one offhand. Um, who was a daddy duder in the comments of the last video he he brought it up and said why don't you use this it's like well this is the program i've been using for years now so it's just what i'm comfortable with one of these days i'm, I'm sure i'll upgrade to something a little bit nicer uh that i can do a little bit more with uh maybe even a little bit quicker but this works for me for now so that's just kind of what i'm going with And go through and sharpen everything up, sharpen the edges, make sure everything looks good. Then when I'm done with uh, with the finals, that's when I send it back to uh, to Mike for final say. That's when he was like, uh, "Why don't you change change the boxes?" Uh, he said to to thin up the dialogue tails as well. So this is the actual final project of page four. Uh, as you can see here, this is this is what we decided to go with for the for the captions when she's glitching out. Uh, like I said, what I was talking about, um, kind of that that dark green on green with the uh, binary code in the background. To it, it it definitely gives off a a much better feel of hey she's glitching out, you know something's going wrong, and I don't know I think it uh, it really works well too the green stands out on the page I think a lot better than that uh, the green text on blue caption boxes that I went with originally so I went through like I said thinned the tails up a bit um, I had realized that I didn't have a tail on the puppet king on this box here and then this one I intentionally left open this here was a panel one two three four five panel five here uh, I didn't put a tail on it because of uh, the space. It's kind of it's, you know where it's you know where it's coming from. You don't really need the dialogue tail in this instance. Same with the very last panel on the page here, um, where you see the the tear rolling out out of her eye. You know she's she's stating her her code name, her number, her her product number essentially is what it is. The last one doesn't have a tail because I mean you you as the reader know where it's coming from so there it is that's the final product uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to subscribe like share ring that bell for notifications we're gonna keep doing these uh, as we go along we'll do more for the gods fear me for more lethal and uh, eventually when we get some more deep well pages we'll start doing those also also got a bunch of other projects in the pipeline that I'm really excited to talk about. Can't talk about yet, but we will talk about very soon. So until next time, we'll see you later.